the temperature now? 16 degrees. What's it supposed to be? 20. It's supposed to be 20 degrees in here. It is not 20 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. Where's my camera? I can't tell if I got that on very now. Yeah, yeah, I think you got it. We're working on it anyway. We've got some chaps coming down to to come out uh, working on a Saturday to see if they can get, get us some heat back again. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine tomorrow because I'll be talking with all the hot air that comes out of me that, you know, it'll warm up the place just fine. It's Palm Sunday. we got to see you on Palm Sunday. Ian and I have been working on this for some time and Gary before that and Norma and there's just so many people trying to get, we get a little bit progress and then it feels like we make a step backwards in it, but we're getting there. But the point is, it's frustrating. It can be very frustrating. Right. And then I'm reading <laughs> for tomorrow where Jesus comes in to uh, Jerusalem and he's uh, coming in on the donkey and on the other side of town, we've got all the Roman legion coming in and their, their war horses and their chariots. And can't you just imagine the ground shaking and the, the horses baying and the uh, squeaking of armor and leather and clanging of metal and just dusty. And, and on the other side, we got Jesus coming in on a donkey, uh, walking on cloaks and, and uh, palm branches, kind of almost the opposite, but he's still coming in to confront them. Anyway, reminded of uh, the scripture from John chapter 20, 19, that says, on the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, peace be with you. And on this 34th day of Lent, I want peace to be with me and Ian <laughs> for okay. the work that we've been doing and all the others that have been trying to help with, uh, with this. One of the ways that I know I can achieve some peace is, well, first, prayer. Prayer in the sense of meditation, that prayer of the sense, not so much saying all the right words, but allowing God to examine my heart and even soften it a little bit and prepare me better for the day and for engaging with others. The other thing that uh, I think it helps is uh, being in cahoots with someone, <laughs> being in collaboration with someone like-minded to, uh, to work together. And whether we're celebrating or commiserating it, we can do it together. And well, there's peace in that too, just knowing you're not alone. And we know we're never alone. It always helps when you've got a friend with you, like like I do with Ian today, and hopefully Ian does with me today. Yes, we, thank you. As we do this uh, this important work. Uh, what is the day today? Today is March 23rd yep. today, right? And the 34th day in Lent. I hope it's the 34th day in Lent. Time slips by fast. We've been pretty busy here. Just want to point out before we break off that next week we have our Monday Thursday service. We have uh, the Good Friday service, and we have uh, Easter sunrise service at 7 a.m., followed by a breakfast, and then we have our 10 a.m. Easter Sunday service. So it's a busy week. Next week, I'm exhausted just saying it. And Friday night, by the way, with our at 7 o'clock with our Good Friday service, it's uh, a lot of music uh, led by our choir director, Thea, and a host of musicians and other accompanists. Uh, I really hope you're able to join us on that evening too. It's kind of an advertisement reflection kind of thing. Last thing I want to say to you, and this is our prayer. My peace be to you. Ian, my peace be to you. My peace be to you, Don. God bless. Go with God. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.